Hi guys, I'm Jamie Oliver and I've got some really good news because I have got something to show you that is going to totally change your cooking at home. It's something that's going to make everyday food more tasty, more fun and something that literally anyone can use to be better in the kitchen. Now, Dave, over here mate. This is the flavour shaker. This is something that I sat down and scribbled uh, as an idea about five years ago. What it does is it sort of slaps and bruises and sort of pummels um, and basically gets the most flavour out of things like spices, herbs, uh, you can do flavoured sugars, flavoured salts, marinades, salad dressings, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, you got this, you got that, and then basically all you do is you shake it like that. Like this, or like that, or like that. And say for uh, a steak, right, so one of the best friends of steak, little black peppercorns. Rosemary and steaks are really, really good. Give it a nice little bash. Pinch of salt, tiny bit of oil. I can already smell it. So we rub that marinade all over the steak. One of the great things about the flavour shaker is as soon as I started using the prototypes, I started trying little different things. You know, I'm thinking sort of Spain, right? So we've got smoked paprika, a little bit of garlic, a couple of peppercorns, salt, a good teaspoon of the smoked paprika, which is going to give you that fantastic colour, wonderful flavour, and again, we're bruising all of that together to kind of make a sticky sort of paste for that. Really sticky sort of mush. And the olive oil for that, and of course that's going to transfer all of those beautiful flavours. Look at the, the colour of that. Fantastic. I'll rub that on both sides. It's such a simple thing, a good old steak. Now, when I, when I hooked up with William Levine to make this thing, um, they got some very clever people there that sort of turned my basic ideas and my drawings into a reality. And this isn't just a pretty shape. One of the cool things is the way that you shape the ball, it sort of spins the ball, the ceramic ball, um, spins around, which kind of gives you maximum bruising and bashing in the inside all the time. And probably the last thing you'd want to be in the world is something inside of this flavour shaker because it will bash the living daylights out of you. I think really what the flavour shaker sort of represents to me is like you're amplifying all of those flavours. Penalties and pork are like brother and sister, they're absolutely fantastic. Pinch of the penalty, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, a little bit of lemon zest. And I just push the sage leaf onto the top of the pork. And then say something like a dried apricot. Imagine that. Fennel seeds, sage, lemon zest, fantastic. Chicken. Good old roast chicken. Loves nearly all the woody herbs. I'm going to use thyme. Pick the little tips off. A bit of salt and peppercorn is always quite good. A bit of garlic. And we give it a bash. I'm not using huge quantities of herbs. It's just little bits. Because we're getting more and more flavour out of it. Have a little look. Lovely. Absolutely pummeled. See that? Th this is kind of the base of the flavour. Sun-dried tomatoes. I want to use the oil that you get in the jar. Ten seconds, and look. Now that is really special. And I'll probably get a lemon, shove it up a jacksie, right? And I'm just going to rub this all over the chicken. And that'll be one of the best chickens you've ever had. Just a regular salmon fillet. It's going to be nice and crispy and soft in the middle, but nothing else. So what I want to do is kind of like a flavoured oil, like a dressing. Take a nice little wad of basil, just rip it up, put it into the flavour shaker, pinch of salt, use tiny little bits of lemon zest. You can almost hear it working. Wow, that's fantastic. It's almost like when you go to Italy and you see that pesto being made. Have a taste. Beautiful. The nice thing about that is you put it on after it's cooked, so you retain all that freshness, yeah? Right, so I'm going to do a really simple creamy French dressing. Garlic. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, just pound up the garlic, a little spoon of creme fraiche or double cream. And this is enough for about six portions of dressing. A bit of good sort of wine vinegar to about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And there you go, look at that. Make sure you get every single leaf dressed with the dressing. There you go, beautiful. If you've got leftover, or if you want to do it in advance, put it in the fridge. Now, say for instance I'm going to do a simple sort of mozzarella and tomato salad, and it will be very, very nice. But the whole thing about the flavour shaker is, you know, I can make a dressing that's going to really bruise and bash the flavour and make it absolutely exceptional. A couple of basil leaves with a pinch of salt, a little bit of garlic. And you can see all of the basil there absolutely smashed and pulverised. A little olive oil, balsamic vinegar. 
Beautiful. And you'll have a really thick, beautiful balsamic dressing. Finish it with some lovely fresh leaves of basil. Tell you what, that will taste much better than usual. Beautiful. What we're going to do now is a, r a rhubarb and blackberry crumble. And obviously the key there is to get lovely fruit that's in season. But actually there is one more way to make it even more tasty. Two old friends are like ginger and rhubarb. And you wouldn't believe the difference that makes to the crumble. Orange and rhubarb are fantastic together. And that's totally... Oh, you can smell it. You can totally pummel it. Sugar. And... And that will be fantastic. Crumble topping. I'm just going to put on top. The flavour will be so much better than just a normal regular crumble. Golden and sort of crunchy on the top and beautiful and bubbly around the outside. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so I've only shown you a few things you can do with the flavour shaker, but you can see what you can do with it and how much better it is flavour-wise. It's the tip of the iceberg and I didn't even get onto roasted vegetables or anything like that. So, uh, shaker, big fella. Oh, you nearly got me there. Um, one of the great things about this is you don't have to have technique, you don't have to be a chef. Anyone can use it and anyone can benefit from it. So get one, give it a bash. Ah, I nearly got you there, didn't I? <laughs>